well, what can I say? A moment that not even I realized I was waiting for. To be able to start a video outside is an absolute blessing. Lids and I spent the day yesterday in the garden and I cannot tell you how enjoyable it was. I didn't realize how much I actually thoroughly enjoyed getting out. And all I was doing was basically raking soil, but it just felt so nice to be out in the garden, cracking on, getting some fresh air, being productive. It was a really great day and both of us thoroughly enjoyed it. So we're gonna continue doing so today. It's currently Saturday and you may be aware because Lydia, I think, has just posted a video on Monday. I know we're not there yet, but she will be. And we're currently having the kitchen floor go down. But before they get the limestone down, I wanted to quickly clean the glass inside on a ladder because I don't really want to be putting a ladder on the new flooring. So I'm going to go up there today and basically just clean and tidy up those windows now that the majority of the dust in the renovation has been complete. There will be a little bit more because they're going to do a little bit of sanding once they prep the kitchen. But fingers crossed it won't be too bad, but I think this is the best opportunity that I have in terms of not causing any damage to new installations. So I'm going to do that on a ladder and then I'm gonna continue turning over some soil around the greenhouse because we're basically getting that area ready to seed. We're gonna be seeding it with grass and then slowly fading it into kind of like meadow wildflower. And at the minute we've got the snowdrops that are going through the woodland. So we're gonna kind of continue that up to the greenhouse, which should be really, really nice. And yeah, I'm just in such a good mood that the sun's shining. I'm actually sitting here relatively warm because the sun's on me. And it's pretty nippy in the shadows. When you're out in the sun, it's lovely. We've got the bifold doors open. Porter's uh, been coming in and out on the patio. He's not a big fan of being outside. He's definitely a creature comforts kind of guy, but um, yeah, it's probably lovely for him to have the option to just roam around in and out as he pleases because since he's been born, the weather has not been fit for that. So that's lovely for him. And Liz is currently just on lunch duties because we did have a nice lay-in this morning and I did a bit of admin and a bit of tidying uh, around the house. So nothing too exciting, but um, she's currently making salmon and cheese bagels, which is just something at the moment that we're really into. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna enjoy that. And then I'm gonna get busy cracking with today's tasks. Hello, Porty Boo. I usually use a knife, I hate touching it. I know, I, no, I hate it. It's like brandy, doesn't it, with the smell, but I can never get the, beat the pieces up. I just use a knife and cut it and just sort of like stick it around. You don't need to make it look that nice, just bash it on. Fish, bosh, bash. Get it done. It smells like you're burning. It's all late night, right? Stop being a backseat bagel maker. <laughs> This is the current situation in the kitchen. We've still got um, decoration, of course, to be done. And like I just mentioned, a little bit of filling, uh, but the screed's down on the floor and the ceiling is painted and the light is up in this section uh, of the room. But of course, the walls have still only got primer on. Lots of paint on the side. And then outside, we've just closed off the patio with some um, gates just to make sure the porter doesn't disappear from us when we're not watching. Hello Porter. You gonna go outside? He is like absolutely not, mate. I oh, know, it's actually lovely and warm out there. I'm so happy it about the weather. More doggy. Yeah. I think that's um, about everything that's going on in the kitchen at the minute. Nothing else to really report on, is there? So we've got the arched walkway into the kitchen now, which is actually really good because we can actually access this corner section of the room where the freezer is easily now because before the door used to open onto it and it was actually quite annoying. Is mine ready? Uh, you can have this one. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, but there's another half. I'm at Marvin. So these are today's cleaning apparatus. I'm going to go up with this long pole duster first and just get really up into the apex. Just up there. And just sort of like give that a dust down. I'm then going to grab the long extension pole here with this dust ahead and I'm going to drag them over the glass, just each panel. And then I'm going to go into the little cracks with this. And then I'm going to give it a wipe down with a microfiber cloth. And then we're using some window and glass cleaner and this little device here to properly clean the windows. Now, I don't know if you guys can see actually, because it isn't the easiest to see, but if I find an angle, it might show you. It's actually better in the mornings, you notice it. I actually don't look that bad when I'm filming lids. No. But, but they are terrible. You can see up here, up there, how dusty that is, because that looks like there's some finger marks just here. 
so you can see how dusty that one is. But this pane of glass just here has just been changed because there was a crack in it. So that one's really clean and the rest have just got this white dusty film, yes, that needs to be addressed. So that is my task for all today. Which I have been moaning about for months, haven't I? Yeah. I forget how the light comes through the sun and creates these lines on the ceiling. It feels like it's not been sunny forever. Come on, go out and run around. Explore, sniff. I feel like from back here is where you can see the clearest that these windows here are dirty. That one's clean and that one's dirty. Can you see that? Small porter looks. He is small. <laughs> are you having a little seat in the sunshine? You're a very good boy. You gonna have a little wonder? No, he's gonna lay down. <laughs> next to floor. his bed, yeah. So yesterday when I was out in the garden, because I've not been doing it all season, I received my first friction cut. It's just a blister, quite a large one. So I don't know if you remember, but a long time ago, a lot of you guys suggested for me to get mole skin for my heels. I'm actually gonna try putting a little bit of mole skin, because I did buy it, by the way, on my finger now. This could be the fix to ensure that I can carry on working today through the pain. Small skin right there. There we go. I'm wrapped up, ready to go. When he's big enough, will he be able to go down those steps safely, or will that be too bad for him? I think like one or two steps is okay because at the end of the day no dog is really ever going to encounter flat terrain but I think it's just going up flights of stairs or going down flights of stairs that really yes. stresses them but I think he'll be one, fine. One steps. Yeah yeah I think he'll be We fine. can always get a little platform. He can already get up and down it. Yeah so when he's fully really grown it won't be much of a... No not at all. Yeah okay. <clears throat> he looks so small. But can you believe how small he was when we got here? Yeah, he's like four times the size. He's literally like quadrupled in size. It is, when I get his little jumper that he wore when he first arrived, it is insane to think that like a month ago, what? Guess what he's doing? What? He's getting that bitch and leaves. Oh yeah, <laughs> he is that mean. Bitches love leaves. <laughs> Also, if there's any lip balm knocking around, can you shove it to me? I'm going to need to have like a little cabinet of hand cream and lip balm in the greenhouse, I think. The thing is, in the greenhouse, it'll be so hot, it'll just always be like oily. Yeah, but if it's a little pot, it doesn't matter. Yes. Porter, sit. Sit. Good boy. You don't chase her. Bell running. Still sitting. Good boy. <laughs> so we're currently uh, barricading this area up because there's a light well, and we need to get a glass cover put over it now um, because you can't afford to have porter disappearing down there but i'll be waiting waiting for the moment to take me to you yeah i'll be waiting sad times so the ladders that you just saw i believed were extendable and step ladders so I was going to be able to create a step ladder with it however they're not they're just a straight ladder which means that I'd actually have to lean it against the brand new paintwork or the glass which neither are preferable so I'm going to use my electrical steps and I'm going to use the poles to try to reach up instead so it's not going to be as thorough as I'd hoped but they're at least going to be a lot cleaner than they were so bad times I'm going to have to get a pair of those steps but I don't know where I'm going to store them I'm just a couple steps from going over the moon your body, baby. I wanna move with your body, baby. I wanna move with your body, baby. Let me move with your body, baby.
So I've decided to get my telescopic ladder out, which actually reaches all the way to the top of the apex. But I'm not going to be filming what I'm doing on that because I would not condone it. <laughs> but it's definitely meaning that I'm able to clean the top of those windows efficiently. Well, I appreciate that it's not very easy to see, but I'm pretty happy with the results. Managed to get those windows tidied up a little bit. Certainly on the inside, there was definitely some outside cleaning that needs to happen, but I guess that was the uh, most important bit. They're definitely not up to the standard that I was hoping for, but as you saw, I had restricted access to say the least. So maybe in the future, we might need to get a scaffold in here when they're properly cleaned. But I think when things are back up and running again, uh, the window cleaning company that we use actually do indoor cleans so I'll probably put my hand in my pocket and pay for them to give these a proper clean and get rid of any speckles of paint or anything that's left on them. Lumi's just doing a quick inspection to make sure she's happy with it all. Do they look okay for you darling? Clean enough? Daddy done a good job. Ooh, inspection over. So we thought I'd quickly pop out and see there's anything Lydia needs assisting with before I crack on. How are we? How are we? Um, good. What would you like me to do, or can I do what I want to do? Uh, what do you want to do? Well, I need to break out. Um, right, how long will that take you? I won't do the greenhouse class today. No. But it does obviously need doing. I'll start breaking out all of the soil and just sort of turning it over like I was yesterday, continuing. Yeah. Or I can empty the soil out of the veg drug. I mean, I would obviously love you to do um, the soil into those things because then I can get them in here. Okay. And also... Well, they don't, they can't stay in here because they've got all, got, all of this has got to come out. Yeah, I know, it will all come out. Okay. But, it, it, you know, we don't have a date at the moment. And I would obviously love for you to repot the lavender that's there. Just oh, right, yeah. Put it deeper down because it looks a bit skewerty. Stuck some lavender outside. She just wants me to take that down a little bit. So this is actually what we were working on yesterday. So if you look down, this was all like rubbly. Um, if you look over there, actually, in the distance, you'll see it's quite rubbly. And I was raking and raking and raking and raking all day yesterday, smoothing all this out. And I also did the front sort of entrance area as well. Turn that over. We're going to be sticking in a new border along this path and also at the top there. The borders were damaged when they were obviously having to take the footings out for the greenhouse. It means that we're going to be sticking some new ones in. So what you can see here are little bunches of snowdrops. If you look in the distance, you'll see loads of them in the woodlands. They look absolutely amazing. So in fact, you have a little wander over. We've got loads of them. And then we we'll through the back. Looking amazing. Boy, you got it. Devotion's getting stronger with all that you do. So Lids has requested that we take some of the soil from the veg truck and we're going to stick them in these big pots. Just put some smashed clay pots in the bottom for drainage. Uh, this actually cracked over the winter because it was when it got freezing cold. And these are going to be your little tomato Hopefully, yeah. pots, aren't they? So these are going to go at the back of the greenhouse and uh, should probably do a couple of shoots out. And we'll see how you get with those. Should be good. Yeah. And then maybe one day we'll look to get a wall mounted system in for a you. A raised one. Yeah, or, or a wall mounted one like we spoke about. Something that could be fixed into the wall, but we'll see. For now that'll do the trick. Have it. Job done. Just a couple steps from going over the moon. I want to move with your body. Well, this next section I've been both dreading and looking forward to. If that makes sense. Can you make sense of that? Yeah, but what are you doing? I'm going to be raking. You're not going to pot the lavender for me? I'll quickly pop the lavender, that'll take me two seconds. Yeah. And then we're going to be raking out the ground. It's hard work, hard work, but 
means that I earn my uh, evening beers, to say the least. It's looking lovely in here, my love. You don't want to get too carried away, because no, you know, know this has all got to come out. I know, but I need to, once I've got a date... Liz doesn't understand there's an order to things. I do understand that there's an order to things, but this is prime planting time, and I'm not missing out on it just because I don't have a floor. So all of these things can easily be picked up and taken out. Okay. Okay? So I'll just tuck the pots down here for now. And uh, I'm going to get busy using these tools to try to flatten out further the slope out the back of the greenhouse as it fades into the woodland. Come on! I want to move with your body, baby with your body, baby. Let me move with your body, baby. Oh, See, I've now just gone over and flattened this verge down as best I can. Looks really good actually. Nice and smooth. So a little bit more of a sympathetic join from the path into the woodland. Yeah, happy with that. tidy up and as you can see we're looking a lot neater which currently blowing away some of the loose ends from today so that's a good day done Lids and I are now going to go take Porter for a walk and see if we can catch the end of sunset so you probably can't see them very clearly but in that field we've got lots of new little lammies they're running around you can zoom in Oh, they're so sweet. They're so small. <laughs> so that's the colour of the wood fire. And that's the colour of the moon. That's nuts. Well, I'm feeling super fresh, straight out of the shower. That was a really nice walk that we went on, actually. It definitely chilled out as the sun set. It got pretty cold pretty quickly. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lovely walk, and I now feel exhausted because I was exerting some energy today doing that gardening. But I was saying to Lids, I feel so good to have done it. I feel like I've really progressed in that garden in the last couple of days because obviously we look out there all the time and nothing changes. Well, lots changes when the builders are building a greenhouse, but nothing changes in terms of like the garden during the winter because nothing's growing. And I feel like we're just at the tip of spring. I think it's the 20th of March is the official spring date here in the UK, 20, 21st, something like that. 
So we are probably about four weeks off or three, three or four weeks off, but there are definitely signs of it showing. And I think that this weekend, you playing music, mate? We've certainly seen signs of that. So I'm, I'm pumped for it. I can't wait, but we're gonna go downstairs now and jump into the cinema room and watch some TV because it is freezing. The house currently has got no underfloor heating. It's got no heating on. We only have underfloor heating here. It's got no heating on at the moment because of course they've screeded and when you screed a floor and you lay a new tiled floor down, you can't just blast the underfloor heating because it could cause cracks. So you have to slowly introduce it. So we've got to wait for the final floor to go down and then when that's in, we'll slowly introduce the heat again onto the floor to try to like bed it in. So that's where we're at. Porter is currently living his best life with his elephant. You all right, mate? He loves nothing more than running and diving into his bed. Gonna go out. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Well, I left you there on Devils, which is a series that I'm currently watching on Sky Atlantic. And if you haven't heard of it, or you haven't started watching it yet, I would strongly suggest you do, because I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I actually partnered with Sky over on Instagram on this series, and I absolutely love it. A financial thriller isn't something that I think I would have just jumped into at the moment. I typically was watching a lot of real life crime documentaries, and then I shifted across to watching some period series. So it wasn't like, the obvious transition, but I'm so glad that I worked on this because I'm really, really enjoying Devils at the moment and I'm getting really into it. I actually want to settle down this evening and watch some, but because I have my beekeeping association course tomorrow evening, I have lots of reading that I need to be doing before that. So I'm gonna spend my evening tonight doing some self-education on the bees, which is something that I do every week. And I normally spend a little bit of time on the weekend, but because we had such amazing weather, and I hope everybody in the UK managed to get out and enjoy it, I didn't spend the time doing my reading and research over the weekend. So I've left it for this evening instead, but I'm not annoyed by it. I'll uh, get that cracked out and done. But today's been really great. I've spent my whole day sitting in front of my computer screen, I had a big list of things that I wanted to achieve today. And I'd say that I'm, yeah, 90% there. So I haven't overrun too much. I uh, like to be signed out by five o'clock and it's currently 34 minutes past five. Not too bad, I've definitely had worse. Not a bad Monday at all. A new blog post has obviously gone live over on alligordon.net. I have managed to post every Monday since I committed to doing it. So I'm really pleased that I'm being consistent over on the blog. And this week was a post that was dedicated to some cocktails, in particular some classic beverages uh, that you'll probably all be familiar with. Some of you may enjoy the reminder that they exist because I know it's very easy to get settled into your favorite and then not really venture back out. So the blog post features a variety of spirits and uh, I've teamed them up with some classic cocktails as I just mentioned. I haven't put whiskey in there because I was going to and I was like, I'm going to dedicate a post just for whiskies and I'm gonna try and cover some whiskies from around the world. So I'll try and do a mixture of both Scotch bourbon um, and so forth. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. But this week's post is all about alcoholic beverages that include a variety of spirits. So if you do wanna go over there, take a look. I've given you plenty of time to get ready for the weekend uh, if you need to order anything in and enjoy a nice refreshing one after a hard week. I've also been creating some real content today, uh, recycling some old content, which was 
something that I take great pleasure in. I had a conversation once with somebody and we were talking about how much waste there is in our industry in terms of content creation. Because let me just say, for example, that when you're creating a Instagram photo, you may take 50 pictures and you may take more. You may take 100 pictures. I know some people that have claimed to have taken in the thousands before. So if you were to only go and post, say, one or two of those images, then there is a lot of waste because there is hundreds or in some cases apparently thousands of images that just don't ever get seen or used. I think that that's also very true of video content. You know, you go out and you film stuff and you produce a video with it, it's put out there once and then it's never recycled or reused again. I do occasionally like to delve into the hard drives and see if I can kind of get something together and I went back to a trip when I was in Portugal with Boss and I recycled some content when we went out on the quads. It was an incredible day, it brought back some really good fun memories and actually something that I feel now is at the end of our fingertips, we're going to be able to go out again, have those fun social times. So yeah, I recycled a uh, video and got that out today. So all in all, it's been a very good start to the week and hopefully I will continue as I mean to go on. I need to create some more um, Reels content this week actually and I've already shot a blog post uh, for the next couple of weeks so yeah I'm feeling kind of uh, very much ahead of schedule which is a lovely place to be in apart from my YouTube. My YouTube videos are being pushed right to the last minute at the moment I think actually like last week I was filming on the Wednesday and it was going out on the Wednesday um, I like to try to be a little bit more organized than that but I'll play catch up very soon so anyway I'm gonna sign off now get in the kitchen and make myself some dinner because I'm absolutely starving I don't know what I'm gonna have yet I need to uh, see what we've got in the fridge but I hope you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one where I'm going to be featuring a new product that is currently in this office right now. <laughs> Take care. Peace.